Vasilis Kotronias with a win with the black pieces against Amin Tabatabai of Iran in round five of the Gibraltar Masters. Let's find out how he did it. Vasilios, a 21 move win against Iran's Amin Tabatabai. A good result, but also an interesting yes. game. By all means, it was, well, it was a short game, so it was good for me. And it was kind of unexpected because he's a very strong young player. And maybe he was tired because of the blitz, I don't know. <laughs> he was there last night till very late. <laughs> Yes, so okay, I, I basically um, got some kind of position that I'm familiar with uh, because it's kind of a mixture of uh, Sicilian and King's Indian. So it was, I was like a fish on the water, <laughs> inside the water. <laughs> right, now uh, Amin probably had prepared this uh, new idea with Bishop F3, which he played very fast, but you mentioned it took you by surprise. Yeah, no, I didn't prepare it, but uh, somehow it felt like an awkward move to make because, okay, it's of course uh, not a bad move, but I think it should lead definitely to a draw, not more, because, I mean, the, the game continuation looks forced. After bishop b7, I'm threatening knight d7, knight d5, so he has to push. So do you feel the bishop in such hedgehog positions are, is a little misplaced on f3? Um, Yes, normally it should be misplaced uh, un until it works, uh, the e5 move, I mean. Uh, yes. So, uh, well. But here it doesn't, so you had to play bishop b7 against white's idea yes, of b5. Yes, yes, yes. He went to play e5 b anyway. Yes, it was kind of shocking because I didn't know this position. As I said to you earlier, I, I mean, I have to, I, I analyzed the move f3 and... Uh, then, uh, oh no, castles and we should be seven F3 with a hedgehog that is that more or less uh, equal. But okay, we can say it's uh, according to the computers. My analysis was saying that this is very, very slightly better for white. Uh, my gain is that this pawn stands here, so the dark squares are weakened. On the other hand, uh, the bishop is on G7 and... Uh, this could be a, a problem in the hedgehog because d6 is not protected. I mean, I will have to go e, e, e7 to e6 later on, and then I will get the usual weakness to d6, but my bishop is on g7, so I'm not 100% sure who, who is favored more by this. Right, and after this e5, for which he took about 12 minutes, the complications seem to have favored you. Not really, I think it's just equal, yes. So here he went, yes. 96. I didn't expect this, but uh, okay, on the, on the other hand, uh, I felt that uh, uh, these positions are never uh, so dangerous because this e4 is a typical trick. I knew it from the Sicilian, so okay, I mean. Uh, yeah, on the other hand, if he takes on a8, I take here, and long castle looks pretty dangerous for him because the queen is kind of awkward. I have enough material, I'm threatening e5, queen c7, and c4 will be weak. So I think he did the right thing, knight e6. On the other hand, it's not dangerous for black because of the e4 trick. Right, now just explain to our viewers that why is it important to sacrifice this pawn on e5 before you take uh, the knight on e6, uh, to sacrifice the exchange. Yeah, I opened the, the diagonal and uh, the bishop on so, g7. It's right, so the main idea is to activate your bishop and also, so you went for this, and this is quite a thematic idea that yes, you were Yes, I knew of. it, as I said, from childhood. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, I'm not doing anything uh, special, I mean, uh, tactic-wise. Uh, this, uh, this was uh, something like uh, um, knowledge before the game, but not for this specific position, but general knowledge. Pattern recognition. All right, this position now was quite interesting because here White could have... Well, first of all, we, we should take a position one move earlier, I think. Uh, what I calculated was that he should play, uh, I didn't like this move, maybe it's still a it's a draw, but I liked more for him to go rook c1, rook d1, uh, with a bishop on e3, I mean. All right, so instead of bishop h6? Yes, yeah. uh, I didn't see anything for me after this, I mean, it looks like a draw, I have to go here. So you're just stop stopping white from uh, yes. going shot casting. I didn't see a way to, to go on to play for a win, because I thought if, if I come here... Sorry. Yes, if I come there, then suddenly this queen springs to life. Yeah. Yes. And uh, if I take on b2, uh, well, queen d3 and queen it's d3. over, yes. 
Right, so... I don't have enough here. So he blocks the diagonal yes. and then he's fine. So which is why you would probably just repeat with queen d3 in this line and not... Yes, the, the queen should go on d3. It's a natural conclusion to the game because... Uh, so the main point is to control the e4 Black can square. never win in chess. <laughs> <laughs> well, recent results have been proving that might not be the case for black. Only Magnus can win <laughs> with black. <laughs> right, and then he went wrong with this bishop g7 here and queen b7. Yes. Uh, well, yeah, queen b7 is kind of strange move, or I don't know. Basically, uh, well, I was also considering to play queen h4, but uh, I was unlike it wasn't working. Because, queen h4 instead of queen d3? Uh, just a moment, can we take the position? Yes, yes, here I was also considering queen h4, but after this move, uh, bishop e3, suddenly I lost coordination, you see? And this is a nice point. This, this is a nice point. I lost the light square, so I must be also careful. I mean, I cannot do whatever I want. Yeah, because he just goes shot castle next and everything's yes, under yes. control. And after queen b7, just rook f4, he resigned yeah. here. Uh, yeah. Probably hated his position. It's but is just there losing tons of material. Queen e7, king h6, f3, queen e3, it's a mate in two. So there's no more uh, I mean, if he goes to, to d1, yeah. And uh, then if he goes f3, then you yes, go queen and, d3. Yes, uh, and rook d4 and queen d3 mate. Right. Um, here there was another option after rook f4 to play h4. Uh, sorry, after queen, instead of queen b7. Mm. Because rook f4 is a very strong threat. Did you, uh, did you see this on the board? Yes, I was looking at this, but uh, maybe it's, uh, I have at least a draw, I think. Yes. Yeah. Uh, rook f4, rook h3, enough check. and compensation, yes. Yes, I have enough compensation. The only thing, I don't know if I can play for a win. Probably not, because my knight is kind of awkward there. So, okay, rook h3, sorry, I have to get used to this. <laughs> rook e3 takes, takes, yes. And at least you have Yes, this. I have at least a draw, but probably not more. Right. I mean, actually, after queen b7, it all falls apart. A nice way to win the game. Yes. Uh, against such a strong player, I think it's a rare occurrence to win uh, in such a manner nowadays. But as I said, I think he was tired from the blitz. Or uh, maybe he underestimated uh, me because I'm too old <laughs> nowadays. <laughs> and we had played the game in Aeroflot some years ago, and uh, I had a totally winning position out of the opening as so black. Maybe, yes, sorry. And uh, well, and then I just blundered, so uh, maybe he underestimated uh, me because I'm uh, getting older and he's getting stronger. So this is the. The, the kind of uh, things are working. So we old masters, <laughs> we should do, take advantage of this tomorrow. <laughs> Which is exactly what you're doing. Now, of course, today you're pleased with the way it went, but overall the tournament, happy with the way it's going so far? I'm lucky to have uh, four points. I mean, I should have maximum two points because I was lost uh, against Nadine Ha and uh, I was lost on the first round. Maybe I should have drawn against Durar Bailey, but uh, okay. Two points, two and a half points would have been the best for me. <laughs> well, in chess, uh, you make your own luck, so I'm sure you're doing something right on the board as I well. I played an interesting game against uh, Pigot yesterday, and okay, I mean, I didn't uh, calculate very accurately at some points. I got a worse position in the opening as usual. But uh, okay, it was an interesting ending. Uh, I didn't play the best way, but still it was quite, quite interesting for me. I mean. well, we look forward to more interesting chess from you. Thank you for your time. Yeah, um, I will try to do my best. Yes, and we look forward to having you back. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Russell.